Alright, what's up? I'm Ayan, and today I'm going to tell you about Xperia Firmware Downloader Tool, Xperia Firm. This app is used to download Sony's Xperia's versions of Android for smartphones, tablets, and other accessories. Simply just go to this website. I will provide the link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. You can download Android OS for Sony's Xperia devices like smartphones, tablets, and other accessories. So when you go to this website, simply scroll down to see the features and here you can see you can download it for Windows, Mac and Linux. Today I'm going to show you how to download it and use it for Windows. Linux and Mac OS can figure it out yourselves. Here in the notes you can see this is not working but it will work so we're gonna check it out for ourselves. So if you are using Windows we need to use these features. And for Linux, there is a link provided down there. Okay, so we need the .NET, .NET framework, but this link might not work because this is a not official one. So this is no longer available, but for need to download it, I will provide the download link in the description. So I also need to download Sony USB drivers, but I will recommend that you download from the official websites not from this website so again I will I will still show you how to download it from there but I will also provide the official links in the description and you can download it from this so let's go ahead and download the USB driver this is the specific one so let's go ahead and download it and see if it works or not if it doesn't work we're simply going to download the official USB drivers so let's go ahead and download it Okay, so it looks like this is gonna have to wait. So let's go ahead and download the .NET framework. Let's see if it is working. It is working or not. Also, we need to download the Xperifem tool first. Okay, let's just go ahead and the download just stopped. Looks like we have to stay on this page in order for it to download. I'm gonna speed it up for you guys. Looks like the Sony's USB drivers link is not working. So we're gonna have to download the official ones, which is pretty great news. So let's go ahead and download search for Sony USB drivers. And here you can see this is the first link that you will get. I will provide this link in the description so you do not need to worry about the official ones or not. Simply scroll down here you can see the devices I will be downloading for Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5 drivers so let's download it. Here we go. Let's download it again. Okay now it has started downloading. Okay, now let's go ahead and download the .NET Framework. .NET Framework. We are going to need the 4. Point something version. So let's go ahead and download the latest version available. Here we go. Download it from the official Microsoft website. I will provide this link in the description. You can download it from there. Let's download the latest one available. This is the 4.8.1 for me. Here are two major versions the web installer and offline installer i will recommend that you download it with the web installer because it will download the latest ones and install it for you do not need to go to the offline version if you have stable internet connection download the web one if you do not have internet connection and want to use it for multiple devices you can go ahead and download the offline version okay now all we need to do is to download the xperi firm tool Let's wait for it to download. Here you can see .NET Framework is already pre-installed on Windows 10 devices. But still, it is recommended that you download it again. So it updates the, all the requirement and necessary files. Let's keep it up, speed it up and see what happens. Okay, now the download is ready and all the files that are required are downloaded. 
So let's go ahead. First, we need to install the .NET framework. I will. I have already installed it, but still, I'm gonna install it for you to show you how it is done. I do not need to install it again, but just to show you guys. The installer will open again later because my PC is struggling right now. Let's go ahead and continue with our process. We need to download the, uh, I mean, we need to install the driver pack first. Let's open it up. Here you can see this is the drivers, but we do not need to do anything else right here. But we there is no setup to install it, so we're gonna have to install it the other ways. So we're, first we're gonna right click here and go to device manager. Here I am going to select my PC. My name is Ayan, so I'm gonna select it here. Go to action and add legacy hardware. We're gonna go next and here we need to select the advanced sections. Okay, let's go ahead. Go to next. And we're still gonna select adb interface or you can change whatever you want you do not need to change anything right there so we're gonna cancel it i'm gonna show you again go to action add legacy device next select the second option the advanced version show all devices or adb interface go to have disk and we'll go to browse here you need to locate the driver that you downloaded. I have downloaded it in the downloads folder, so we're gonna select it right there. Here we go. Okay, now I'm gonna go okay. Okay, this did not work right for me. Okay, I'm gonna go back and select show all devices. Do not need to select anything else. If you get this issue, you can use this fix anywhere else. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and okay, how does anyone go back from here? Yep, this is it. There's nothing to install right there. So I'm gonna select this driver, go ahead, okay, and next, and next we'll install the driver. Okay, now all the driver software for Sony USB devices is being installed and is installed, but this might not work correctly unless you restart your PC. So I'm not gonna, if you are not gonna use it, simply just delete the driver right like this. I already have it, so let's go ahead and install .NET Framework. This is how you install .NET Framework. This will take some time for installation. It also took some time to open up and now it is downloading the necessary files. Let's minimize it and let's go ahead and open up the expiry firm tool. Now we do not need to close any options. Okay, now, sorry, this is the driver one. This is the tool. Let's open it up. I am using a 64-bit operating system. So that is why X64 is for me. There might be an update available. So just simply say yes and wait for it to download. Okay, now I have downloaded the latest version of Xperia Firm. Let's extract that and open it up. Go to X64 bit version. Here you can see this is, I'm gonna maximize it. Now, as you can see, this is the latest smartphone 2023 category. There are some three devices available, and there are a lot of other devices. You can select your particular device that you want to use and download the firmware for that. Select the file, select the device, and here you can see the versions of firmware. You can select the global version, Japanese, US, or anything you are wanting. Same is true for other devices. There are some global versions available and others. Here are some other versions available as well for other devices. You can also go to your old devices and see. I would recommend that if you are using the global version of devices, select the global firmware and download that. Okay, this is the settings. You can change the settings of this tool. And there's nothing that you need to do anything here. So this is the download section. Here you can see I have downloaded some 
premiere but i'm gonna still show you how to download it this is how you clear all the downloads and let's close it up let's go ahead and download the firmware first so i'm selecting the global version we need to select there and this is the available firmware this is how you download the firmware simply select the location where you want to download i will download it in the downloads folder okay now as you can see this is now downloading this is how you download sony xperia's firmware for android os smartphones tablets or whatever other accessories and also while it is being downloaded you can select other devices as well simply close it or just minimize it however you want to do it will still download in the background unless you close the whole app as you can see this is downloading you can stop it and close it close the whole tool and you can also re-download the tool uh, I mean for the firmware if it is not working correctly for you just simply close the tool and do it again the download will resume it will not start over again which is great if you're using downloading a lot of files at once so this is how you download it but I'm still gonna show you other stuff like this you can see there are some other accessories available to download let's go ahead and finish the dotnet framework first now you can see all the necessary components are downloaded it is just a matter of time that it installs all of them let's wait for the installation to complete then I will show you how you can download multiple firmware using that same tool alright so the dotnet framework is downloaded let's open the tool again and now I am going to select this firmware first this is the mo uh, Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5 download it where you want to download it select the location I will go to the download folder now it is being downloaded if you want to download multiple files select the other file and then download it the desired version of the firmware that you want to download select the location where you want to download the other file also you I'm going to do it again so you can see how I manage the downloads okay now it is being downloaded so here you can see in the downloads there are three downloads available first is being downloaded and the other one are waiting or pending you can also force download it but you will not be able to browse for more it will only download two servers but not more than two limited to two owners okay now I have started the download now you can see I cannot download the third one if I even force it it says it is limited to three simultaneous devices also if you want to do it hurry you can stop one download and use the other one it is recommended that you download only one file at a time also if you have cleared the download you can stop all or do whatever you want you can remove those and clear all your logs this will remove everything anyway that's been it thanks for watching i will catch you in the next one